people are always asking me, yo man, how do you get these crazy good seasons out of your players in franchise mode? For example, let's take a look at our boy Petey. Elias Pettersson has 1,334 points in the NHL, and he's only 29. The year is 2028, and Pettersson was the third fastest player to ever reach 1,000 points in my franchise mode. Now, I will be honest, I've only played like three games, three third periods just for gameplays out of this franchise mode, and some may be wondering, how the heck do you have it set in 2028 where Elias Pettersson has 145 points in 58 games played? Well, I'm going to be telling you all about that right here. This is how to break Gretzky's point record. Right away, Elias Pettersson is on pace for about 205 points-ish, which is pretty good, but I kind of want to break Gretzky. So let's go back over to my team and check out what we have here. Sure, Elias Pettersson had the high elite potential and he grew to a franchise player and he's at 96 overall. And sure, he's only getting paid $6 million over the span of a few years, but... The fact of the matter is here, we have a pretty stacked team, a 96, a 96, a 92, an 89, a 91. I don't know what the heck happened here with Tyler Madden, but the guy is an absolute goal-scoring machine. He already broke Gretzky's goal record, but this is how you do it. This is how you make it so that you really, really put the points towards the guys that you want to get the points. Now, first off, you're going to want to make sure that the player that you want to get points doesn't take too many penalties. Now, I'm lucky because Petey is naturally a not dirty player. His discipline rating over here, if I can find that, it's all the way down there at somewhere. I actually can't see it right now. Here, 93 on the census category. He already grew to that because he's already a pretty disciplined player in general, but that's definitely going to help you because you want to give your guys ice time. Now, what you're going to notice about my team right here, I'm not actually showing you the lines. I'm showing you the point production because all the production is coming from these nine players right here. Hughes, 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 Clark, Horvat, Madden, Besser, Matthews, and Petey. That's because if you scroll down, you'd actually notice that some of the other guys on our team, they're not really doing too hot. In fact, it's 58 games in, and Liam Kirk only has 6 points. He's 81 overall, 79, 79, 80. You know, we're not really getting all that much production out of these guys right here. And right away, you could probably infer just how everything is working out, and that's because when you want to get your guys the points, what you really want is you want to play them a ton. You want to play them all over the lineup. Right here, I have Pedersen on three forward lines right here. Pedersen is on four lines. We're really only rotating these six forwards right here throughout our lineup. Now, I know Bo isn't actually repeated anywhere in the bottom six, but that's because I took his spot with Elias Pedersen because I really want Pedersen to break the Gretzky record in this franchise mode. He's already gotten a whole bunch of records. He's one of four players to ever get 100 points, or excuse me, 100 assists in a season. He actually shares that record now with Bo, who had himself 100 assists in a year. And Jack Hughes did that as well, too. So, you know, it's a pretty elite set of company. As for defense, I have Brent Clark played three times over here, Quinn Hughes, Luke Hughes, and Quinn Hughes, and on the power play, I actually scattered things out a little bit. Our power play actually isn't doing too hot, so I have Jack Hughes on the first power play right here, because as you can see, his power play production is only at 13 points, which isn't really all too much. We'd really like to get more production out of Jack Hughes here, but... PD is over here as well. PD's actually on the second power play as well. You know what? I actually want to change that. We'll move Clark over there because he's right-handed. Pedersen can go over here, and Madden is a right-handed guy here. So, yeah, quick reminder, I actually haven't played any of the games this season. And just in case you were wondering, my goaltender is 90 overall. It's Jesper Wallstad because, you know, he's a franchise goaltender. He's supposed to be a franchise goaltender. We have Braden Holtby over here, too, as a fringe starter, 38-year-old backup. You can't really go too wrong with that. But this is how you crank up the production for your players. You repeat them over and over and over again, and you're going to want to make sure that you have guys that you don't really care about. Sorry, Liam Kirk. Sorry, Tanner Pearson. Sorry, all these guys that we have on our PK and all that stuff. Sorry, but I don't really care about your production. Jared McCann, you're 31 years old. You can get a goal in 58 games. That's fine. I'd rather have Pedersen cranking up those potentials. And again, 
As for the nitty gritty stuff, we just have to get into it. Injuries, I have those turned off. I don't really like injuries in general, so I play with them off. And scoring, that's going to have to go all the way up to high scoring because we want to get the most goals that we can. Is that is this even the right menu? I'm not really too sure. Penalty time scaling, I have that at 6 out of 6. Sim engine scoring, I have it at high. And then penalties, we have that at 4 out of 4 because we want there to be more power plays. More power plays means more opportunity for your team to score and... You know, that's how it works. Again, I didn't play a single game. Let's go over into the sim engine and let's simulate up until the end of the year. Actually, we'll sim over to the trade deadline. I want to make a few trades, get some picks and all that too. And then we'll do that and we'll check up on our boys Elias Pettersson and the squad right about now. <laughs> All right, so right away we simulated six games. We lost one, which I don't really care about. We can lose a game 6-2 to the Islanders. Pedersen was at, what, 100 assists last time? Now he's at 109 assists after six games. 162 points for Elias Pedersen because we crank up that playing time, because we play him everywhere in the lineup. Tyler Madden is over a goal a game. Brent Clark is up to 100. He's going to get to 100 soon. And yeah, I'll make a few trades, then we'll come back and we'll simulate to the end of the season. Hopefully Pedersen breaks the Gretzky point record by that time. You see, we're actually in a cap crunch right now. Right now it says PD has probably the lowest trade value out of our top six, but that's because his contract is expiring. We re-signed some of the other guys here to 14, 15, and 15 million dollar deals, but we only have 10 million cap dollars left to spend for Pedersen and he wants 15 million. So we're gonna have to make moves towards the end of the year just to make sure that everything actually fits because I would really like to keep Elias Pettersson, especially if he's gonna be the one to break the Gretzky record right now. Okay, there was a Minnesota Wild goal, uh, nice. But yeah, this is what our team looks like on the trades too. We made a few trades. We traded some of our prospects, got some draft picks, so we should be able to stockpile on that going towards the end of the year. We will simulate up until the end here, just so we can see if Pedersen does indeed break the Gretzky point record. I'll join you in a little bit. All right, so we're at the end of the season right here against the Calgary Flames. We'll see what actually happened. Did Petey get 200 points? 211. Oh my goodness. 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 You saw the sim right there. Okay, so we got 60 wins. Pedersen is at 211 points right here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. And I'm pretty sure we're two points away from breaking the point record. Oh no, Gretzky got 212 points. He had 215 points in 85-86. So Pedersen needs four points in the last game of the year to get break, or excuse me, to tie Gretzky's point record. Whoa. I think it's safe to say that, uh, we actually did it? I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that? Bo didn't get 100 points. Oh, man. Come on, Bo. But yeah, this is what we have as our team right here. Tyler Madden had 85 goals. Awesome for him. I really didn't make him that good. He just grew for some reason into an 89 overall player who gets like 70 goals a year. It's really weird how this game has everything panned out. Look, he was at 20 goals and 33 points in his first year in the NHL, and then he jumped up. It wasn't with this strategy, by the way. I only played Madden on two lines or whatever. And of course, just in case you wanted to see the rest of the league, here we have the first five, all Vancouver Canucks up here. Then it's Jing Wang, Shane Wright, Atu Ratu, Brant Clark is over here with 104 points. Let's see who else had a whole lot of points as well. Quinton Byfield, Adam Ski, McKinnon and Gaudreau, they're still around, they're still kicking. Gaudreau, 34 years old, 98 points. Awesome for him. He's been with Buffalo for a while. Oh boy. Panarin's over here, Dreisaitl, Sprong, Monaghan. Dylan Holloway is up here, that's awesome. Bobby Salvador, Artem Manukian. Yeah, I made him elite low. I don't know why he grew up to whatever he was, 90 overall or something. I didn't actually use him on the Vancouver Canucks. He went to LA and he became a beast. Connor Bedard is over here. Oh, he's been amazing. I love Connor Bedard. Can't wait to see what he does in the NHL in real life when he's drafted in 2023, 2024. I forgot which one it is. Kaprizov, Ehlers, Horvat, Barzal, Savoy, M Matthew Savoy's over here. 
Genther, Line, Lafreniere, Stutzel, Brennan Othman. Uh, a lot of these guys are real guys. You won't really see all too much of the created players in 2028. If you have a lot of real prospects put into the game, like Brad Lambert is, he's a pretty real guy. Same with Cousins and Dorofeyev and Turcotte and all that. You'll get your production from those guys as well. Trevor Zagres is over here. Capo Caco, Boldy, Tolvanen, Gunler is over here. Okay, Andre Miller, my goodness, 78 points as a D-man. Was Clark first in defenseman points? Yeah, he was. K. Andre Miller, Quinn Hughes, Ryan Merkley, Darlene and Heiskin in Sanheim, Bouchard, Drysdale, Luke Hughes, Alex Vlasic. Dang. 61 points for him. That's crazy. Cam York is over here as well. So that's what the rest of the league looks like, just in case you were wondering as well. But yeah, this is how we do it. Elias Pettersson is up here at 211 points. Gretzky got 215 points. So Pettersson's going to need four points in the last game of the year to tie Gretzky, five points to break Gretzky. If I really wanted to, I could just play the game myself and just have Pettersson break it that way. Honestly, five points isn't all too much. You could see a player getting five points in a game quite a lot in franchise mode, especially with the sim engine scoring up there at high. So Pedersen being over here, it doesn't really surprise me. And honestly, I think that pretty much wraps it up. This is how to break Wayne Gretzky's point record in franchise mode in NHL 20 using the options that are available to you and without playing any games. You saw the simulation. I didn't play anything, I just simmed and let you see everything happening right in front of your eyes, and we have ourselves six 100-point players. Bo didn't get there, which pisses me off because we're paying him, like, how much are we paying Bo Horvat? Yeah, we're paying him $8 million, he's gonna be getting, like, $15 million next year, so yeah, that kinda sucks, but... Overall, Bo still got 89 points, it's still pretty good for him, he's still at 1,000 points, I'm pretty sure, too. Yeah, 1,137. He's over a point per game in his career, so that's awesome to see as well. As for Elias Pettersson, he's all the way up there. He's going to be getting himself just so much more time over here. 1,400 points in 800 games. He's only 29 years old. That is awesome to see. This guy is going to break the Gretzky records, and if I just do this trick a few more years, keep the top six we have, repeat it a few times, and just have a whole bunch of bottom six guys that we don't really care about over here, like Liam Kirk, McCann, Tanner Pearson, and all these guys over here, it's going to be done. No doubt in my mind, it's going to be done. Hope you enjoyed this video, and bye.